Well, the Cloisters Castle in Lutherville dates back to 19, 1932, built by the Parkers. Alexis de Vila, Queen Alexis, or is it Excuse Princess you? Alexis? I, I don't know. What, queen, always she, queen. She's a queen. Yes. Okay, well, Queen Alexis de Vila there with the history and what it's being used for now. Hello, Queen. Oh, thank you so much. I'm loving these titles. Remember to keep it on and keep going with it when I'm done with this story, okay? But we're actually now moved into another section of this castle here. We're meeting some of the crew members who are putting together and painting this beautiful mural in here. I'm here with Barbara. Can you talk about what's going on? What is this room actually? <laughs> well, this is actually the entry foyer. So this is the first place all of the guests and people who are coming to the wedding see. And we wanted to create a feeling of reference to medieval manuscripts because the original house owners actually had a marvelous collection. I believe it was housed in here, as a matter of fact. Wow. So the material that is the images that are on the wall are actually based on images that are in illuminated manuscripts over wow. a couple of hundred years probably. It wasn't purist. And then the decoration below is a stenciled pattern and all sort of put together so we could work as a team on it. The detail, the color is beautiful. I mean, what's it been like trying to paint this? When did you guys start? We did this in 2008 and we came in at, I guess, the beginning of the year and there were walls that had been here since a, a decorator showcase house. So we had some really great straight painters who worked with us and repaired things. We also do did a lot of church decoration back in that day so everybody came and lent a hand and once everything was painted and repaired we came in with the design we shot it uh, shot a cartoon of it at my studio oh. brought it in put it on the wall pounced it and then we began to paint and different people could work lay putting in layers and then a lot of the finishing touches I had to do just to keep a consistency of style. And then down below, there was um, a young painter who worked for the most part on this stencil and popped in the highlights, and that was her project. So we got to divide it up. And then in other areas throughout the castle, yeah, there are different the murals. Yeah, projects they're doing too. There's more renovations going on. Yes. Um, well, there's always fugitive water. <laughs> <laughs> but upstairs in the room between the bridal suite and the groom's suite is a mural that principally three of us worked on, Sidney Hopkins, Pat Verghee, and I, and then everybody helped. We did it based on a series of um, floral stencils and vegetation, and then each wall had a character, and it was based on the unicorn tapestry, but we had to do it in such a way that it was not religious, for instance, but rather more about the decoration. So um, each person took a wall and did characters like pheasants, dogs, storks, and a unicorn. And then we just rotated around the room with stencil patterns, and Alco jumped in on that and did a lot of stencil work. Wow, thank and you. We appreciate you going into detail, telling us that process. We love it. Keep up the great work here. But we are not done just yet. In a few minutes, we're actually going to step outside into the cloister garden to take a look at what is out there, because you don't want to miss it. You have to come in and take it out for yourself.